it's Jennifer. If you're new here, I'm excited that you're here. If you're back, welcome back, you guys. Today, we're going to do a full face of Dior and a holiday look at that. So, without further ado, if you want to see how I created this look and what is in the advent calendar, keep watching. Okay, y'all, let's get started. I'm so excited. I love doing just makeup. I love playing with makeup. So, we're going to start with the Air Flash Radiant Smiths. This is the primer and setting spray. And you might be wondering like, okay, Jen, this isn't an aerosol can, but I just sprayed on a brush, quite honestly, like that. <laughs> and then I just take it and just go all over the face. I'm just gonna move my mirror a little bit. So this is a new brush actually to me. This is the new Shiseido brush that I just recently hauled. I just picked up a few things from Shishade. I've been trying them out, like, you know, in my stories on Instagram and things like that. But yeah, this is a really nice primer. I like it because it's easy. It's easy, it's nice, it's pretty. It's pretty on the skin. I'm gonna go in next with this Dior Air Flash Foundation in 3N. 3N, ah, uh, gotta shake it. You know what, I think I forgot to shake my primer. Supposed to shake it. Three in might be a little dark. I don't know. It's been a while. It's been a couple weeks since I've used this. I just spray it on the same brush, quite honestly, and then go in here. My face is quite red. I just I use a razor to shave my face, and so I just did that, and it's all red because of that. It will go down by tomorrow, but it just. Does, it does that, you know, kind of gets a little sensitive after doing that. But I love the feeling and I love the way foundation looks right after I shave my face because it just goes on so smoothly. Ooh, this foundation actually looks very nice. It It isn't too dark. I thought it was going to be a little deep. Now, I have the Dior Backstage Foundation and it's quite deep for me. I'd like to try a lighter shade, but I just have not purchased it yet, quite honestly. I love this one. I love the Air Flash. I just think it's such a great, great foundation. It's really natural looking on the skin. It's really pretty for just everyday wear. Stays on well. I love it. I really do. So next we're going to go in with the Dior Concealer. This is their Forever, Forever Skin Correct Concealer. This is in the shade 2N and it is a corrector cream. It's 24 hour wear, full coverage creamy concealer. Now, I have not tested it for 24 hours, you guys. I don't wear makeup for 24 hours, but it's a good concealer. I will say that. I like it under the eyes. I feel like it's hydrating because I don't like something that's going to creep under eyes or be too drying, quite honestly. Because me personally, I have drier skin anyways, and I want something that's going to last, but not necessarily look like I have a ton of makeup on. Work this in. I love how the 2N is, so I have a 3N in the foundation. I went to a 2N in the concealer just to brighten because I like it a little bright, brighter under the eye. And see how, oh, this looks so good. I forget how good this looks under the eyes, y'all. Look at that. Gorgeous. So pretty. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Dior powder. Now, unfortunately, this is, this broke. This packaging is so beautiful, but the problem with this packaging is that they break very easily. I've had two of them break on me, unfortunately, and it's just something I just, mm, I expect Dior to be more sturdy and more. I mean, you're paying more, right? So the packaging shouldn't necessarily break, but the powder is so good. So I just take a little bit of this powder. It is the Dior Skin Mineral Nude Powder. It mine is in three. So I just take a little bit, a little bit of that, and go under my eyes here, and then down my nose a little bit, around my T zone area. Oh, I love this powder. It's so nice. I just wish, I wish the packaging, oh, packaging just disappointed me, quite honestly. Yeah, but the powder, the 
the actual product itself is so, so nice. I feel like brows should be next, you guys. This is the Dior Show. This is their brow styler. And I have a couple different shades. Let's see, this is 001 Brown. What other shade do I have? And this is 011 Blonde. I think I like the blonde just a tad bit more. I don't know. I like my brows to be defined, but I don't like them to be super stark necessarily. So when I go in and fill in my brows, this provides such a great, great brow, almost like hair-like effect without being too much. And it's kind of that waxy feeling on the, on the skin. And you can really work with this. I'm going to show you what it looks like on, like, look at this. Can y'all see those fine, fine hair strokes? I mean, not hair strokes, but you know what I mean. It looks super, super easy and very, very subtle. And I like that. So I'm just gonna finish up my brows and I just go in and I like that it has a spoolie on the end as well. Now this is a twist up, so you can see here, you can twist it up. I have two of them because I've already kind of gone through the brown one. <laughs> I know. I really like this brow pencil. This one and the Gucci one are my favorites by far. And I just really like it. So let me finish up. I'll be right back. Okay, I want to tell you something though about this brow pencil. When I first got it, I was quite confused. Quite confused. Just because this didn't have a cap on it. It was quite odd. I was like, is this going to dry out? But it... That's just how it comes and it has not dried out for me. It's been easy to use. I love this. I love this brow pencil. So definitely a plus from, for me for this. Okay, so should we do eyes or complexion? Now, the only thing I think that I don't have is bronzer. I know. I need to get a Dior bronzer. What am I thinking? But I do have a blush and I'm going to put on bronzer real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, I just threw on a little bit of bronzer and then next I'm gonna go in with this Dior blush. This is from their holiday line and this, my friends, is absolutely stunning. I would highly recommend this blush. If you are in the market for a new blush, it is gorgeous, beyond beautiful. So, we are going to apply the blush to the cheeks. I just got these brushes in. They're the new Sonia G brushes, y'all. I'm really excited to give them a go. I have not tried. I've tried a lot of her eyeshadow brush brushes, but not a lot of her face brushes. And this is her mini base brush that I'm just kind of going in and applying this to my cheeks. Now, I'm probably not using the right brush, but, you know, I like the fact that I can kind of make an impact on my cheeks with the blush because I think the blush is going to be a standout feature today for my holiday look, you know? So, it gives a bit of sheen. Isn't it gorgeous? I just, I love it. I love it, I love it. Next up, we cannot do the holiday look without this Tior Backstage gorgeous rose gold highlighting palette. Now, I'm thinking maybe something like this. What do you think? Something simple, but yet beautiful? I don't know. I just really love that elegance and simplicity, yet glitzy, you know? With my eyes, I'm going to go in with the Golden Snow Eyeshadow Palette. Now, y'all, the new formulas from Dior are some of my favorite formulas that have come out this year for eyeshadow. This formula, you guys, is absolutely, it's beautiful. So, I think I'm going to start off with this shade here. It's kind of like a peachy, pinky nude in a way. And then I'm going to go in here with this shade is the most unique, I think, of all the shades that I've tried from pretty much any collection from Holiday. This shade is quite gold, yet antique gold. And then 
play around with these as well as we kind of do the look. So let's start off with an all over shade with that peachy kind of peachy golden shade. So that is what the peachy shade looks like on the eye. It's absolutely gorgeous, you guys. I love that shade. I can just do that itself. But if we're glitzing and glamming, <laughs> glitzing and glamming, I think we need to amp it up just a bit. The Sonia G Mini Booster. Now, I'm going to go in that gold shade here, this shade here, and I'm gonna take it right here in the crease and really kind of just deepen the crease and make it and shade it out. You know what I mean? So shading this out to give it its depth. Here we go. So that is that golden, quite antique gold shade. I really love that shade. I think it's quite unique to this particular palette. I am going in with the lighter, kind of more white shade here. It's almost like a snow shade in a way. I'm just taking that on the inner corner. Next, what I'm going to do is take this shade here. It's quite, uh, almost like a plummy, it's, it's, a, it's more of a brown. Probably not as plummy as I think it is, but it does, it does tend to shift a bit plum, but it's more like a brown plum. Does that make sense? So I'm going to take that and go right there in the eye and line it and go underneath to line underneath. Super easy, but yet a bit dramatic, but not too dramatic because I really want to do a red lip. So let's go ahead and do the red lip now. We are going to start with the lip liner. Now this is the Dior Rouge Dior 999 Lip Liner. And this matches my lip stick, this lipstick. In Rouge Dior 999, it is satin lipstick. <sighs> This lipstick, you guys, is from Holiday. I have a sample, but I have not used this particular one yet. My sample I've used a lot. But, you know, I was like, I'm going to use it today for this video. And I'm excited to share this particular one because it has snowflakes in it. It's so pretty. So, first, I'm going to line my lips. This is a lip liner that will match the actual lipstick. All right, y'all, so this is the lip liner in 999, and now I'm going to apply the lipstick. The lipstick is one of my favorite reds. I know y'all have heard me talk about this before, but it's so, so gorgeous. It's such a great neutral red. Not too blue, not too kind of orangey red. It's like right down the middle and I love it. All right, y'all, we are finished with my Dior look. I want to share with you what is in the advent calendar for today. One second. All right, y'all, so we have our joy bag here and I thought that this was very appropriate to go ahead and unbox this. Let's just do that. Uh, and something very special, you guys, is in here. It is a Dior gift. Now, this is a pouch from Dior. You guys, look at this beautiful Dior pouch. Oh my goodness, it's so fun. I think it's just so chic. And inside is just a bunch of goodies. You have a Dior keychain. <gasps> look at that, you guys. How beautiful is this Dior keychain, you guys? 
Let's see, what else is in here? Some Dream, Dream Skin. This is so gorgeous. Ooh, a mascara from Dior. Oh goodness, we have, and we have a couple samples as well. So that is part of the advent calendar, you guys. I love Dior products. I think they're so beautiful and chic and just so luxurious. And I wanted to share this particular gift with you guys. I hope that you love it and will enjoy these. I really do. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope that you enjoyed this really fun holiday look and it's kind of glamorous you know I love the red I just love red lipstick as well as just a pretty pretty simple eye that's almost smoked out in a way so I really appreciate you guys being here thank you so so much y'all it means so much to me don't forget to enter. All the instructions to enter are down below in the description box as well as other products that I used with, on my face. I will link them down below for you guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'll leave day 10 right here. So in case you missed it, you can go check that one out and I'll see you tomorrow in day 12. Bye y'all.